After the last launch, I was so frustrated. We had finally launched our homemade altimeter, but we'd forgotten to check if the data logger was on. Data or data? And it wasn't. Which meant we had to wait almost another month before the next club launch to try again. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's see how our altimeter performed this time. If you want to watch a more in-depth video on how we got to this point, I suggest you watch the first altimeter video in the top right corner. Finally, it was February 5. We flew it again on an Apogee Zephyr Jr. rocket with an SD's E-12-4 engine. At Apogee, when the ejection charge blew, the body and the nose cone separated again. This was fine though, since the altimeter is attached to the nose cone, which is attached to the parachute. The body fell first, as expected, and a fin broke off, but that can be easily fixed. The nose cone landed a few minutes later with the altimeter. We immediately took out the altimeter to see if the data logger was still logging, and it was. While we were driving back, we uploaded the data to our computer and got this graph. The blue line is the raw data, and the red line is the moving average to flatten the noise. As you can see, the graph spikes up to about 775 feet over about 6 to 7 seconds. After that, there's a big blue downward spike which is most likely caused by the increase of pressure from the ejection charge. The altitude then steadily drops back to the ground. All this data seems pretty accurate according to the open rocket simulations. Although the altitude seems pretty off, don't forget the simulations assume perfection, so the real life altitude will always be less. We're still going to perform a few more tests with smaller motors to validate this data. We also want to fix the shockboard attachment, this time with 3D printed anchor, although this isn't the most important thing right now. This is still a very successful test though, and I'm really happy with what we got. Stay tuned for more altimeter tests, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.